hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science, science you can do right at home. I'm just doing a little disinfecting today, and going over today's science file. And today's science file says... How are viruses able to transfer to different species? Well, that's the number one question I get asked. Ah, uh, this week anyway. So try this! The first way that germs inside you like to spread is by sneezing and coughing. <laughs> the best way to stop the spread of these is to use a snot ray. <laughs> That's a keeper. But let's say you don't have one. The best thing to do is to sneeze on the inside of your arm. <sighs> the second way that germs like to get to you is by hiding out. It's a good idea to disinfect everything you spread the virus to through touch before letting people back into your home. This includes light switches, doorknobs, remote controls, as well as anything you touched while you were sick. These chemicals act as weapons to destroy viruses. And the number one way to stop the spread of all germs is don't go in public when you're sick. Don't go to school. Take the day off of work. And if you do come in contact with animals that do transfer viruses to humans, Make sure they're vaccinated and test it. So, how do these super viruses form anyway? Well, don't look at me. Grab a tissue and put your nose in this. Ducks, pigs, chickens, horses, turkeys, dogs, as well as some wild animals can also carry influenza. People who work closely with these animals can catch influenza from them. Although it's very rare, these influenza viruses are able to mutate into a form that is able to transfer from human to human. When influenza attacks these animals, what ends up happening is they can transfer to another animal that is already infected with influenza. The two influenza viruses attack the same cell in that animal, which in return combines the virus's genetic information. Then that animal can pass the virus to humans. If the new virus then evolves, it has the ability to transfer from human to human. Influenza is one of the viruses that constantly evolves to be able to elude the antibodies that would attack it as well as any previous vaccination memory your immune system has. It seems that influenza evolves every two to three years. Then it seems every 10 years, after our bodies have built up a resistance to it, it undergoes a major evolution and can then cause a worldwide pandemic. There, now you're all clean. So now you know how to stop from spreading viruses. You know, being a germ fighter right at home is why science is so cool. Thank you.